Hello baseball fans, hope everybody's doing awesome out there, staying safe. Having it like or subscribe, please do so. Really appreciate your support. Best way you can help me out is by hitting like and subscribe. And hey, have prizes coming up for subscribers just to say thank you. Have one coming out today, December 24th. So make sure you check out that prize vlog so you can win some MLB swag. So the Toronto Blue Jays organization gave the Toronto Blue Jays fans an early Christmas present yesterday with the mega trade in Arizona to acquire Dalton Varsho. I always hope I pronounce that correctly. We'll just have to wait and see. Nonetheless, Dalton is now part of the Jays organization. And this guy is an exciting player to have and definitely checks off a lot of boxes for the Toronto Blue Jays. And if we look a little bit deeper into Dalton and his numbers, you can see why Jays fans should get excited. Yes, last year his average was a little bit lower. He hit 235, but he had an impressive 27 home runs. So there's certainly power there. 74 ribbies and 16 stolen bases. So this guy has some speed as well as the power. I know his average is low, but one of the things you should recognize, he's only been pro for three years, and last year was his first full season. So a lot of industry experts expect his average to actually grow. He should be a 250 to 260 hitter who gives the Jays between 25 to 30 home runs each year. And he's a lefty bat. What's not to like about this? On top of that, this guy has been compared and been mentioned to be just Pure athleticism. Athleticism? What, what? I'm mispronouncing it, but you know what I'm trying to say there. This guy is a top defender. He played majority of his time last year in Arizona, center field and in right field, but he can also play left field as well, so you can platoon all over the outfield. And with that plus defensive ability, coupling that with the new acquisition of Kevin Kiermeyer and moving George Springer over to the corner where he should be a little bit more elite, is going to make the Toronto Blue Jays outfield downright deadly to try to score again. Some other nice things about Dalton Varsho that you're going to really like is he's controlled through till 2026. That's right, we got multiple years of control. He's going into his first year of arbitration, going to make about $2.8 million this year. So he fits in financially well with the Toronto Blue Jays, who are already at the tax limit. Yeah, Toronto Blue Jays are spending big. So we got a lefty bat. Plus defense, a guy who we have for multiple years. Great day for Toronto Blue Jays fans. On the flip side to that, yeah, we had to give up a lot. Gabriel Moreno, he is going to be an all-star catcher. That is for sure. I believe that. But Dalton Varsho as well has the potential to be an all-star outfield. So it's a bit of a par there. The real one that might be tough to swallow a little bit is losing, losing Lourdes Gurriel. He's going to be a free agent next year, so he was going to be departing unless we re-signed him or extended him anyways. But so who knows? Maybe we could see Lord Escariel come back to the Jays around the All-Star break. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Let me know what you think in the comments below, though. Do you think the Jays did well on this trade? Do you think Dalton Varsho is going to be a pivotal piece to the Toronto Blue Jays moving forward? Always like to hear what you have to say. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll ramble on soon. Take care, guys.